that they put them in the army and they were making big money in the army. You know, $20 a month. That's more than they make all year. And uh, so they sent uh, money home to their family. The army did. And if you make out a, the paper and say allotment, so you send it out. You lock so much to your family. That was, that was You weren't married. You were. You weren't married yet, right? What? Were you married when you went into the service? No. No, I wasn't married. I was just eighteen. <laughs> <laughs> Although she got married when she was seventeen. Ah. Is, what did you do? Oh, my first camp was Fort MacArthur in San Pedro. That's where they take me in and, and uh, give you a uniform and all that stuff. And uh, I stayed there uh, a week. As a matter of fact, I got to come home uh, that weekend. But the next day, we went to, uh, to our destination. So us seven guys caught the train at uh, Union Station. They needed people so bad, one guy was in jail. A young guy, he was uh, my age, he was 18. As a matter of fact, I was in second grade with him. <laughs> he was in jail, and so uh, they told him, you can either stay in jail or you can go to the army. So all it took a lot of the guys out of jail. And so he said, I'll go in the army. Uh, he thought they were going to let him go home and, you know. They took him from the jail to the train station where we were. <laughs> in handcuffs. And put him on the train and with us. But the, the, the uh, probation officer was with there and <clears throat> was at the train station. And... Uh, So he uh, he came from jail to the army. He didn't get a chance to see his folks. Mm -hmm. So we went from the Union Station to uh, Illinois. It took us seven days on a train. On a train. <laughs> And so here we are with a uniform on, went to sleep with, with shoes on, everything on the train. By the third day, my toes were stuck together. <laughs> I never would get that. My toes were stuck together from sweat and all that stuff. Toe jam. So we, uh, we went, we took the uh, Route 66 route, uh, the train, and when we got to Amarillo, uh, we got off the train in the train station, and uh, the guy said, okay, we're going to be here 15 minutes, and so we went off the train, and, and so we went, went to the, the toilet. Go go in the toilet and then look around. Well, we went in the wrong toilet. Well, see, they had two toilets, one for black and one for white. We didn't. We just went in the toilet. And so, while we're in there, this 
guy came in and told us that we were in the wrong toilet and that maybe we better leave. So we got out and got back on the train and never got, I went to Amarillo three times and never <laughs> got off the train again. And he wasn't very nice when he told us to go back on the train. So uh, we finally made it to camp and we uh, got there, it was, it was pretty nice, you know, camp, but uh, they had a problem there because the, the black soldiers that went to the wrong PX, the PX is where you go buy cigarettes and stuff on the camp. But on this side of the camp was all white guys and, and they had two units of black soldiers, us and, and another unit. And so these guys went down there and went to the PX. They saw the PX and if we had an army, would <laughs> I'm going to the army PX. Uh, those guys didn't like us going there. Didn't like them going there. I didn't go. I didn't smoke. And uh, so they had a big fight, blacks against white, and the blacks were outnumbered, so <coughs> they, they were fighting a losing battle. So from then on, for the next two weeks, if you went to the PX, you had to go to the black PX. And you had to be gone, taken by a guard. A guard took the soldiers to the PX, and so they could buy cigarettes and take them back. In an army. You had soldiers. Huh? You had soldiers protecting soldiers. Yeah. That's a big difference right now. But they soon changed all that anyway. But that's the way it was when we got there. And so, uh, after that, we went into basic training. That was fun. What did you do? Uh, land in the snow, <laughs> shoot the rifle at the rifle range. Oh, you were in the snow? Huh? You were in the snow? Were you in the snow or the dirt? In the snow. Mm. Yeah, it was snowing there in Illinois. And the rifle range, so it just so happened when our time to go to the rifle range, it was snowing. So when you get a prone position, you have to lay on your stomach and put your strap on you up and lay down and shoot at the target. Well, it is. It's snow on the ground. That's <laughs> cold. That was cold. I was like, looked out again. They needed some people on peace. Uh, Just disappeared just like that. Uh, in the army, you, when you work in a kitchen, uh, it's called, I can't think of what the heck they call it. KP? Ooh. KP? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, it put me on KP so I didn't have to go out on the range. Uh, and get to eat all I want. <laughs> I want to stay on KB forever. <laughs> and I thought I was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> and, but you know, that, that was okay. And so we went to basic training, and that's where you couldn't get no pass or anything like that. You learn how to shoot the rifle, you go on midnight hikes, and uh, the infiltration uh, places where they have 
at say at the end of they have three guys with machine guns and they're shooting this way and and uh, every third.